All right, welcome back, everyone. Do these gentlemen look familiar to anyone? <laughs> Maybe go back uh, three uh, years ago in March? They should. I think we have a video here. Do we have a video? I think we do. Restaurants insisting that he tours all their kitchens. Oh, well, he does everything right. That was one time. It's not his fault. <laughs> what can he do when, well, you know, he does everything right. Yeah, that should ring a bell. That's from March of 2020. Crazy. Three years ago this month. Right before the world completely went dark. Yeah, we were funding the film right before uh, COVID hit, and uh, we actually ended up getting an extension to the Kickstarter so that we could um, could actually finish it because because <laughs> everything came to a grinding halt right in the middle of it. It was insane. Yes. Well, welcome <laughs> back, Ryan Smith, the director, and welcome to yeah. Wes McNew, who is an actor in Eldritch USA. Um, great to have you both, and obviously you guys have a connection from three years oh, ago, and we're forming ago. one yes. now. <laughs> yeah. So you guys have been working on this for the past three years, and it's finally come to fruition. You can almost taste it. You guys are doing the premiere April 28th at the Alamo Draft House. Yes. How are we feeling? We're pretty <laughs> doggone excited about it. I mean, it's... Like nervous, <laughs> super nervous, <laughs> excited, nervous all at the same time. But how can yeah. you be nervous if you're a cult leader? You lead people. Well. <laughs> in, the cult, in the movie, at least. Not in real life, Well, right? when I put on my, my furry hat and I put on all the robes, then then I feel, you know, more confident. But <laughs> okay. I take all that off and I'm I'm just a regular, regular guy. Regular nervous. guy. You know, it's been, it's been yeah. three years. Can you give our audience the premise again of what the movie is? Because you're combining a lot of genres. Yes, it's a, it's a horror comedy musical. It's a story about two brothers. One of them actually works at a news station, is, is kind of well known, and the other one is, is always in his shadow. And uh, then somebody in their community dies and uh, they want to, they, they hear about this cult that says, hey, we can bring somebody back to life. So they, they take the person to him, yeah. they bring him back to life and they think, okay, everything's fine. And then things go south really fast. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> the, that's the intrigue. Uh, Jake and I were talking to you this morning and with Maddie too, because it's a musical, and you guys put this all together. Is it all original music, or who writes the music? It's all original music. I worked with uh, the lead singer of, of, he's in the band now, Fox Royale, and um, and we've got 13 original songs in it. And uh, the songs are actually very intentional to get you from point A to point B in the musical. So it's not just, you know, here's here's what's going on, I'm gonna sing, sing you know, what just happened. It's more like, here's where we are, I'm gonna sing to get to the next point. And it's very, it's cool. very intentional. Yeah, oh, wow. absolutely. And you, you were telling us you you filmed all over Springfield. Yes. But like just Springfield itself. Yeah, just I, I mean probably no more than thirty to forty five minutes away from Springfield mm -hmm. was the, as far out as we got. And you both are from Springfield. Are yes. you an actor here in Springfield yep. as well? I mean, oh my God. how cool! Like how close <laughs> to home? How amazing! I mean, so how like what are you what are you expecting for the premiere? Are you having any nerves? I mean, obviously. Just general nerves, but we're anxious about it. We're hoping some distributors will show up to uh, to get a look at it and and you know consider picking it up. But we actually the first showing opened up last night while I was at the Alamo watching a movie and oh. it sold out within two hours. Oh they're, my gosh! They're adding another showing this morning, so they're they're going to keep adding showings and they they said as long as we keep uh, as long as we keep filling them up, they'll keep giving us more showings. We're That's looking at a trailer right now, guys. You can kind of hear some of the amazing music because to me the most Challenge part, not only do you have to write a script, but you have music with it as well. Like that's adding a whole other element. Oh yeah, for sure. Well, when I yeah, when I watched, I, I think it was the teaser, the first teaser that was dropped on the Instagram account. I, there was he was singing, and I'm like, wait, this is a musical, and there's a cult leader. What's going on? You know, and it, you yeah. provide much com uh, needed comedic relief. I, I hear. Yeah. <laughs> the you know the the whole thing when when I tell people, it, they're, they're like, what is it? I'm like, it's a horror comedy musical. And I mean, their faces are, oh, it, what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. I'm like, well, ha have you seen like Evil Dead? Have you seen these? Now add music to it. And they're like, I'm, I just, I don't understand. <laughs> yeah. so, so it'll be fun to see their actual reaction and when they actually see it and it'll all make sense. Are you a singer yeah. as well though? Like you musical theater? So that's where the nerves come in. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm not a singer. That's, that's not my thing. Um, 
I think Ryan did a great job auto-tuning me. <laughs> oh! So I'm gonna give him probably lots of credit for that. Okay. Um, that's, that's, a little Britney Spears yeah. magic in there. Yeah, okay. yeah. I say, you know, just tweaking, tweaking a little bit. Super knobs, electronic. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. My, my high school theater teacher told me, because I can't sing either, she goes, if you want to try it for the musical, just sing loud and be confident, and yep. they won't even hear that you're bad. And I'm like, I tried it and I was like, ah, ah, and it did not work. I did not get into the musical, but that's okay. That's all right. I'm not mad. I'm not uh, so when, when is the official <laughs> premiere of the movie? It's going to be on April 28th uh, at the Alamo Draft House at 7 p.m. And uh, oh. I know we are for sure going to have two showings at the same time, and we also have the back lot uh, rented out. So we're doing uh, a little bit before and a little bit after for kind of a, a get together with all the cast and crew. Oh. That's amazing. A little meet and greet. Yeah. Yep. Great. And all local, all local actors. I was looking at the trailer trying to see, do I know anybody? Right, right. Like, who do I, who do I know? Have they been on the show? Because I love that you hired local. They were all local at the time of the filming. A couple of them have moved away since then. One um, of them was in Maine. One of them was in Georgia. But, um, but at okay. the time, they were all Springfield. Mm -hmm. That's That's amazing. great. Springfield grown. <laughs> Springfield, I, home. Springfield, we love we love it local and local filmmakers right here making a difference in the world, which we love. Uh, any plans for another movie then? Oh, uh, I've got a couple other plans that are in the works that we're that I'm working on. I, I don't have anything to to full development where it's worth talking about. There's okay. some time travel stuff. Yeah. And we'll come back when you Just do. Just some time travel stuff. No big deal. Okay, I want a time travel musical then. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Time Just travel saying. musical. <laughs> uh, hey, can you guys stay and play a game with us? Absolutely. Yes. Sure. All right. Since we got you here, so all right. We'll be right back with a game of find your feelings. I can't even. I I can't deal with my own emotions. I, I know. know how. Oh, how am 